Hey there, Gemini. I got a Kenny and Dolly duet song, one that you probably won't know. And if you know me well, you know that I'm quite obsessed with Kenny Rogers. <laughs> but tell me that you love me. It's um, it's coming through for you because I feel like there's a relationship repair that's that's needing to happen. Um, and I, I mean, I'm getting it in a romantic sense, but you take this as what suits for you, uh, Gemini, because it might be in more of a work colleague, perhaps it's in, um, you know, another type of relationship in family or something, but tell me that you love me. It's, it's like everybody's sitting there, go and have a listen to that, to that song, Tell Me That You Love Me by Kenny Rogers and uh, Dolly Parton, because I feel like there's something in the lyrics there, like people are sitting back and there's some repair work to be to be done, Gemini, and I think it's because there's not been the proper communication, and it's like both people want to make the effort, but um, so far I don't think much is being is being done, and it feels like this could be a decider of whether things drift away. So really, it's a bit of a last shot saloon. Maybe that's why I'm seeing the country country music coming through. And uh, perhaps it's time to, if you need a, another person, you know, some counselling or something to come to come through as well. You know, maybe a, a, a friend to sort of help things along here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing it even as sort of those kind of important things like um, date nights or making time to catch up with somebody for, for a picnic or for some time to chat to... Um, you know, time, oh yes, <laughs> interesting. Three of swords coming out. So yeah, look, there's some broken hearted feelings or things are not going well in um, in relationships. So something here that, that's not working. It's the first card that's flown out. So it, it's interesting that I was getting, I'm not getting relationship energy for every single reading here. These are quite fast readings and I'm picking it up for you strongly. So you know, I feel that there is heartbreak at the core of this and perhaps it's the, um, it's it's on both sides. It feels like if uh, efforts not made or things are not discussed because the three of swords, of course, sword energy is air energy. It's your own uh, Gemini energy. It's also Libra and uh, Aquarian energy and it's about communication and if the communication has stopped, then... Um, that's when you have these issues coming through. This is the high priestess. So coming through nice uh, major arcana here as well. So changes, perhaps you're pulling down a different path. It could be that there's um, opposition to different ideas on I'm getting even politics or, and, uh, or ways that you want to live. And I'm seeing like these pillars as different pathways. Um, you know, there's always ways of bridging those gaps here. The high priestess could be that you sh could go and have a, a reading with somebody. Maybe it's, maybe it is like listening to something like the tarot card reading for the epiphany that you need. But perhaps you do go and listen to somebody who you, you know, a uh, sage advice um, coming from maybe an older, perhaps it's a female, you know, perhaps it's a grandmother, something like that. I'm getting pomegranates as well. So, um, that could be, you know, the fruit of, of that uh, work of doing that effort of talking can come through. I feel like if you just ignore uh, this problem, there's going to be, uh, you know, this is, this is what, what will happen is this sort of unhappiness. We've got the Empress here. Again, another major arcana coming through for you. So big change, big change, Gemini, at the moment on the horizon. Again, I'm feeling like... Um, you know, if if you need to dress the part or feeling like you want to look better as well, uh, that's that sometimes comes through with my Empress energy as well. But also looking for that person who is going to have the right kind of wisdom. So again, going to find uh, a counsellor, um, you know, marriage counsellor, relationship counsellor, um, Getting advice from somebody who is um, higher up could be really beneficial. Six of Cups, beautiful energy here to bring this love uh, relationship, so soulmate energy back. I'm thinking projects. Have you lost the goals that you that you had uh, together? And again, this is coming through as a relationship, but you know, love relationship. But it could be in a family dynamic as well. 
you know, I'm looking at those houses thinking, you know, have you lost the the family goals that you set? You know, maybe it's renovating houses, painting things, doing things in the beginning when it was a new relationship, it felt like you had all of these goals and things that you were going to do. I feel like you've lost a bit of that. The four of wands coming out underneath this, which is my uh, marriage celebration card. So again, reinforcing that there were happy times and I feel like it's lost and everything is fine. This is the bonus card that comes in this deck, but it feels like there's been swords in the back, four of cups feeling forlorn at the bottom as well and five of cups. So yeah, really, honestly, this sort of sad energy but i feel like there's a little bit of self-sabotage going on here gemini where you're letting things fall apart where you know you need to take some responsibility for your part in this maybe it's the peace offering that you need to to give you know perhaps you have to be the bigger person here as well gemini and um you know go back to those vows or to something that you'd said at the start of the relationship you know, where you got excited. Maybe it's on the first dates where you talked about things that you wanted or your interests and maybe they've gotten lost. I'm looking at the crystals here. Maybe it's spiritual things and the other person's not interested. Maybe you can say, look, I think the reason why we're growing apart is because, you know, we didn't focus on each other's goals or we didn't kind of go and do things together. Maybe sports or activities that helped to grow and build the relationship. So that's really coming through very strongly for you, Gemini. Let me grab a Spirit Messages Oracle card for you. Interesting, because it does take a lot of work. Uh, relationships do. They take lots and lots of work from both sides, and they can be tricky. They can be difficult to keep, to keep afloat. You know, it's a lot of energy that we have to put in. Here's your message. We've got... When there are questions you need assistance with, go inward, sit with yourself, meditate on the question, ask for our help also. Then trust your intuition as most often the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We are with you always. So that's a reminder to ask for help from your angels and guides and ancestors and to really say your prayers and put it out there for, for help, um, Gemini, in whichever way you do, if that's meditation, if that's through you know, going out for a walk and starting to really talk to nature and asking for your help or um, whether you, you know, have a, a religion or faith, you know, something where you can say, look, I need help here. It's, it's not, things are not working out for me, but, you know, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. That's the other message that I'm getting, Gemini. I feel like things could be saved here and repaired if the communication and dialogues opened up and the goals are reset. I hope this is finding you well in November. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's helping me to um, grow my channel, which will give me more time to do more content. Thank you so much for liking the videos as well. Please let me know how this resonates in the comments below. And um, there's lots of other videos as well. So if you wanted to look at your ascendant sign, uh, which is your rising sign or your moon sign, they're also often uh, relevant along with the sun sign as well. Sometimes people look at their Venus alignment too for uh, relationship messages. Thanks so much, Gemini, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye. Oh, lucky numbers, should tell you. I'm giving some lucky numbers that are coming through for the other sign. So I've got six, I've got three, two. Threes are coming through strongly and 66. So 33 as well, 22. So lots of doubles with you, 18 and a two. Thanks so much, Gemini. Catch up with you soon. Bye.